What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm here with a project that I promised to reveal almost 10 videos ago, but uh, I'm the worst automotive YouTuber there is. So, here we are now. As you can see, we've had a lot of videos with the race car lately, and uh, I'd like to introduce you to the other two liter Ford we have in the family, my 2015 Ford Focus ST. So in this video, I want to give you a general walk around. Uh, this car right here is big turbo. It's got a Borg Warner 6758 on it. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a walk around and uh, talk about its reliability. And then I have Anthony and I are on our way here. You can see his RS over there. Uh, we did some sound clips for you. Got some GoPro footage from the back of his car. So uh, I'm going to put together a raw turbo and exhaust sound with that footage for you guys. So. Without further ado, let's jump into the car. So, as you can see right here, we have none of the telltale signs of an EFR turbo on a Focus. So, instead of the full race intake or uh, mountain intake that would typically come with the turbo kit I have, uh, we have a, a bastardized, kind of chopped up, uh, its own custom boot over there, uh, wrinkle black cob intake. I really enjoy the sort of sleeper look of this whole setup. So it was nice to be able to do that with the 6758 kit from Mountain. Exhaust, it is a full three inch exhaust. So it uses the downpipe that comes from Mountain with the EFR 6758. And then I have a three inch stainless cob cat back. You guys will have a chance to see in a minute when we do the raw sound clips. I think it sounds pretty good. The only other thing we need to really make this setup come together because I'm using factory charge pipes is my custom intercooler. So this intercooler, Ryan and I actually built. Um, it uses a vibrant three and a half inch intercooler core, CNC aluminum cut end tanks. Uh, I designed it myself in SolidWorks and uh, yeah, it, it works great. I mean, this car made 360 horsepower um, on the dyno. So I have no complaints. That intercooler, it works awesome. Uh, it's slightly lighter than some of the other off the shelf ones that you can buy. And you know, it, I don't know, it feels good having known I made it myself. So we talked about what parts are producing the power on this. So now let's talk about tuning. So the car was dyno tuned and uh, oh no, it's happening. This is keep happening. God damn it, every time. So uh, I, I was gonna talk about the tuning process, but as you can tell, uh, the, I don't, and I don't know how he does this, but the sauce comes from Justin at Freak Tune. I, yeah. It, it was dyno tuned at his shop in New Boston, and I, I, I don't know how he does this. I find sauce in this thing every day. We talked about what makes the power. So there are a few things that I've done to sort of put that power down a little bit more effectively and also break things less often. So before we talk about how reliable this setup's been, uh, I'm gonna go over those first. So first thing it's got, and you won't be able to tell, but is a quaff differential. Also, neon pink front wheels. Those are 17s, the rears are the stock 18s. Uh, they're pink. I got them for free. Yep. But back to the differential. It has a quaff limited slip differential in it. Not gonna window the diff now with all this new power. Next thing you're not gonna be able to see other than little tiny, red hose or two red hoses down here and those are for so those hoses are for a damon motorsports catch can setup and i plan on making it that its own video going over why you need one of those in these cars and uh, sort of what happens if you don't run a catch can but another little reliability thing so the last little upgrades that i have done to this i have a set of tb performance traction bars on it as well as hawk hb plus brake pads both of those sort of help keep this car planted uh yeah, it likes to do burnouts, the EFR 6758 spools like crazy. So both of those help a ton, especially when you see the video GoPro footage from Anthony's car, I don't rear end him. So shout out to Hawk for that. So let's talk reliability, the Achilles heel of the Focus ST. Things actually haven't been that bad. Uh, I've broken quite a few axles and that's really my only feedback haven't had to replace an engine it's just been routine maintenance for me plugs every 15,000 miles oil every five that's it that said I don't necessarily blame the car or think it's an issue with the car as to why I've broken axles I believe that's probably my driving habits and I mean you'll see soon 
probably a little bit of the roads to blame. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'm gonna close out the video here before we do the raw sound clips. Uh, real quick, shout out to my buddy, Anthony, who's playing cameraman for me. As you can see, that's his RS behind me. He's got some custom headlights on that. If you go into the description of this video, you can find him on Instagram and uh, reach out to him if you're interested in a set. They're really cool. He's got a custom RGB controller and stuff on him. So, like I said, his link's in the description. Real quick before I close the video out, I wanna give a shout out to my friend slash mechanic Max, who has done a lot of the work on this car. Um, sort of allowed me to keep up with the race car and do stuff like that while this car gets worked on on the weekend. And uh, yeah, he's been awesome to deal with. He's a great mechanic. All right, that's it, everybody. If you like the video, like the video. Let me know in the comments down below if there's some videos you want to see on the Focus platform or this one in particular. Uh, subscribe to Home Track. Uh, you know, share this video with some friends, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Mm -hmm.